Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use this external POE switch to connect the IP camera and network radio recorder to have a complete IP camera system. It looks quite similar as the regular switch, but this POE port can supply both power and data. So we don't need to have the power data close to the camera. Usually, we need to use this k 5 or CAT6 Ethernet cable to link the POE switch and the camera. Actually, we also can use other cables such as the fiber optic cable. You can reference my another video how to connect the IP camera with the fiber optic cable. First, let's take a close look at the PoE switch. There are totally 10 RJ45 network ports. The first eight are the PoE ports. It can supply both power and data to the IP camera. And the last two are the uplink ports. Usually, we'll connect the one of the uplink ports to the router to have the internet accessing. And the other uplink port is reserved for the MVR. And can we just connect the non-POE such a router to one of these POE ports is safety? Yes, because this POE port will verify and classify your edge device. If you realize your edge device doesn't need the power, it just will behave like the uplink port only supply data. And here we got one CCTV mode switch. And when we switch to CCTV mode, this POE port will extend the POE distance up to 250 meters. But there's there's price for this extension. The bandwidth, I mean the speed of this APOE port will drop down to 10 megabytes per second. So if you're working with a ultra high resolution camera like the 4 camera, 4K camera, it's not a good idea to turn on the CCTV remote because the bandwidth may, may be not enough to carry the ultra high resolution. And then in this case, you can use like a POE extension or POE standard to repeat the POE. It's not going to de decrease your bandwidth. Okay, now let's move to the other side. The POE switch needs to take in the AC power. So the AC power from the AC outlet will go into the switch through this port. How about the output power through the POE? Don't worry, it's safety because the POE will use the DC for output. The power source is being built in. The it will convert the AC to the DC, which is safety for human being to touch directly. And there's one part, this is grounding spot. It's very important the grounding your switch. You see, we are using the copper cable. k 5 k is made of copper. And the search may be observed through this copper cable and travels through both ends. So if we have ground the switch properly, then the search will may lead to the ground through this grounding spot. OK, now let's just put everything together and get the video on the monitor. First, let's put an AC power. Once we connect the switch to the power, we can see the power indicator is on, which means the switch is getting the power. Now let's just pick one of the POE port to connect the IP camera. Let's pick port number one and connect to the long run K5 Ethernet cable. And let's move to the camera end and connect the K5 E cable to the camera. Once I connect the cable to the camera, I can see the power indicator of the port number one is also on, which means the port number one is supplying power to the IP camera. Okay, I'm going to remove this k 5 Ethernet cable from the router. This is the cable from the network video recorder. So it's always good practice to keep the IP cameras and the network video recorder within the same POE switch. Why? The reason is because even the router is done, you still have the system working. You just cannot access the camera remotely. Let me connect to one of the uplink ports. As what I mentioned before, we also can use other POE ports, but I just don't want to waste the POE port. You may need to take a while. I think the, the camera's live now. Yes, the camera's live now. And I also need this short punch code to link this POE switch back to a router so we can still have the remote accessing. So I'm also going to use another uplink port. This is second uplink port. Then I will link to the POE this router so we can have Network accessing. This is the whole setup. There's still two questions I think you may be wondering. First, what kind of cable we can use? We should use K5E or K6. Actually, it doesn't matter. The reason is because the camera only needs 100 megabytes per second. K5E will be enough. But it's important to choose the cable which is made of pure copper, 100% copper, because the copper cable can reduce the power loss during the transmission. The second question is about the power budget. 
how about the power budget? Because all the power just come from the, this PoE switch, right? Like this one, it has about 60 watt. This is the sharing power budget. So you need to put all the power consumption from each of your IP camera together, and then it should less than the power budget this PoE switch can supply. If 60 watt is not enough, you can pick another power PoE switch with higher power budget. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.